An extraordinarily disturbing story broke over the weekend about the failed former president, Donald Trump. And, you know, one of the things I said was it's going to take us a long time to learn the full scope of the danger that happened during those very dark four years in American history. And we are learning something new almost every single week. The new report is per Donald Trump's former secretary of defense, Mark Esper, Trump wanted to bomb Mexico. Um, you'd think, well, but the, David, there must be more. Yeah, there's more. But that's basically the story. Trump wanted to send missiles to Mexico to attack the drug cartels and then maybe just kind of like say it wasn't us and pretend he didn't do it and be like, well, I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe it was Canada. I don't really know. Here is Mark Esper on 60 Minutes last night telling this disturbing story. The president pulls me aside on at least a couple occasions and suggests that maybe we have the U.S. military shoot missiles into Mexico. Shoot missiles into Mexico for what? He would say to, to go after the cartels. And we would have this private discussion where I'd say, Mr. President, I, you know, I, I understand. Mr. President, sir, bad idea. The motive, because he was very serious about dealing with drugs in America. I get that. We, we all understand. But I had to explain to him, we, we can't do that. It would violate international law. It would be terrible for our neighbors to the south. It would, <laughs> you know, impact us in so many ways. Here's the reasons why bombing Mexico uh, is a bad idea. Why, why don't we do this instead? You politely push back on the idea. Did President Trump really say no one would know it was us? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I, 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 he said that. And I, I just thought, let's paint the missiles the color of the Guatemalan flag. And then they'll say, would well, this must have been Guatemala? It's fanciful, right? Because of course it would be us. I was reluctant to tell this story because I think I, I thought people won't believe this, that they'll think. Well, so he was reluctant to tell it until he could make money from it, at which point he put it in a, in a, in a book. And all of these guys and gals do that. They all do that. And that we've talked about before. I'm just making it up and folks in in, in Trump's orbit will, will dispute it. And then I was having dinner after the election in 2020 with a fellow cabinet member. And and he said to me, he goes, you know, remember that time when President Trump suggested you shoot mes missiles into Mexico? And I said to him, you you heard that? He goes, oh, yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. And I couldn't believe how how well you managed and talked him down from that. And at that moment, I knew I got to write the story because I at least have one witness who will verify that this really did happen. Now, Trump is not denying this, and we're going to get to that in a little bit. But think about this. What in a sense, we're a super progressive country, right? We elected the first completely unqualified, dangerously, psychopathically narcissistic, cognitively compromised president. Now, maybe we didn't, but he's pro there's prop there's been others not in the United States. Um, but this has to be on the top 10 list of, of wildest ideas. I mean, we've got he wa he wanted to nuke a hurricane. He wanted to inject bleach to kill covid bombing Mexico, flushing presidential records down the toilet, eating presidential records, saying we're going to get Mexico to pay for a wall across the entire southern border. I mean, yeah, what I don't know exactly what else would be on the top 10 list, but this absolutely would. And just as we predicted every week, we learned the presidency was even more dangerous than we ever knew at the time. And by the way, and this is where I want to go next. Trump is not denying that he wanted to bomb Mexico, which means he did want to do it. And that's what I want to discuss with you next. What if you could get through an entire nonfiction book in just 15 minutes? Blinkist takes top nonfiction books in every genre, boils them down into a text or audio explainer that you can consume in 15 minutes. Of course, Blinkist would never replace reading real books in their entirety. But Blinkist lets you absorb the most important insights from the nonfiction books you wouldn't otherwise have time for. I have a ton of different ways I consume information, and Blinkist is one of those, and it's super efficient. I just used Blinkist to listen to the book Toxic Positivity. Super interesting, just about this like happiness obsessed culture that now we live in. Got through it in 15 minutes with all of the key points. Blinkist also takes tons of popular podcasts and creates a 15 minute explainer for each episode. And Blinkist really just empowers you to grow 
by discovering new ideas, knowledge that will give you valuable new perspectives about the world. Go to Blinkist.com slash Pacman to try Blinkist free for seven days, and you'll get 25% off a premium subscription. That's just $6.25 a month. The link is down below.